Hello, Jamie here from Printed Encounter, coming at you with a short video on how to add bits to your minis digitally using 3D Builder. And what I mean by that is like uh, little conversion bits that you want to add, uh, such as what I recently uploaded to the uh, uh, my mini factory and Patreon and printables, uh, all links below, uh, such as these tiny demon wings. Um, so first things first, you need 3D Builder. And if you don't have 3D Builder, it's a matter of just uh, opening up your Microsoft Store on your PC and then searching for 3D Builder. And it looks like this, and it's free. So this should say free for you or download or install or something like that. Uh, but for me, it says open because I have it installed. Um, this is a great bit of kit. It's very simple 3D software to use. And it's great for adding bits to your minis. So once you have 3D Builder installed, Whenever you have an STL file, you can right click and go open with, and then you should see 3D Builder uh, on the list somewhere. And you know, if it's not on the list, you could choose it, or uh, if you don't have it installed, you can search the Microsoft Store from here and install it. So, STL file, right click, open with 3D Builder, and then once it's here, you just click import model. It, it asks you for scaling wise, but millimeter should be good because that's uh, uh, the units that I think most minis are saved in. Uh, but it all depends. So import model if it's right, uh, adjust the scale if it isn't. Um, so yeah, here's the tiny demon wing that I created. And now it's a matter of just importing the other model that you want to add the wing to. So just add. And for me, I've already added it recently. So I'll be converting this kobold that I made into a winged kobold. Uh, when you import models and there's a red box around it, you'll get this error message. Uh, one or more objects are invalidly defined. Click to repair. Just click and then it'll do some repairing. Not really too sure what this means, <laughs> but uh, it, you know, it doesn't take very long. So yeah, now it's just a matter of clicking the object that you want to add, the wing. And just moving it around, here it's uh, the move button, here is a rotate, and here is a scale. So for the scale, I think it's a little bit too big for this model. So it's just a matter of scaling it down. And then I'm gonna move it up, and then in. It's very important that when you're adding bits to your minis that they sort of intersect, like they go into each other, uh, because you don't want them to um, you know, print separately and just fall apart. So you want them to be intersecting. So I'm gonna just quickly rotate this out a little bit so it's angled and then just move it up a tiny bit. Move it out. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Now I can go to Object and Duplicate, so I have a second wing, and I'm going to hit Mirror so that the it mirrors the um, the sort of angle that we rotated at uh, towards the other way. And then now it's just a matter of moving this to the correct place, rotating it around like so. putting it in the model. And yeah, there it is, a winged kobold. Now, all you have to do is select all here on the right to select all the items that you've added to the mini you've made. And this could be, you know, any number of uh, little bits that you've added or, or want to, you know, customize it with. And then you just go up to the top here in edit and then merge so that it all gets merged down to one item. And then here on the top left, you can save as, and then you just change it on the bottom here to STL format. And I'm just gonna call this Demon Wing Kobold. Save. So now uh, you'll get this error message uh, asking you to save in another format, but you could just ignore it, go to continue, so now when we open the file we just created, uh, mine opens Chi2Box by default. And as you can see here, 
we have a kobold with wings and it's good practice to always check your work you know uh, by slicing down and making sure that there's no uh, void or space between the objects that you um, combined so it should be one solid color and here you can see that it's all solid like there's a solid connection between the bit we added and the original mini which means that this will print uh, just fine and it'll all you know be attached and solid so now it's just a matter of pre-supporting this model slicing it and setting it off to your printer so now you have a winged kobold and yeah that's uh that's pretty much it very simple how to use 3d builder with uh bits and minis to add custom parts like i mentioned this uh tiny demon wings they're available for free all links below to my patreon and my mini factory and uh printables page i've also got the this set of feathered wings um so a couple of posed feathered wings to add to any of your minis to turn them into you know angels or or just give them wings or whatever <laughs> uh, and yeah all links below thanks for watching and uh have a nice day